Hi everyone, welcome to another Thursday Super Story. For today's story, you need a piece of paper. We're going to use the piece of paper to help us tell the story. So the first thing you need to do with your piece of paper is to make some rips in it like this. Not that far down, just a little way. And I'm going to do that all the way along my piece of paper. going to be something that helps us tell the story. Do you remember our story last week? Jesus went back up to heaven, didn't he? And he sent his friends to Jerusalem. He said, wait there and I'm going to send something. Can you remember what it was? Well, Jesus said it was a gift from God. Well, Jesus' friends went to Jerusalem and they waited and waited all the way until the festival of Pentecost. There were loads and loads of people in the city because they'd all come to celebrate. At the festival of Pentecost, they celebrated when God gave the Ten Commandments to Moses. They used it as a way to remember that thing. While Jesus' friends were sat together in a room when they heard something. Do you have your piece of paper ready? Blow like this all the way along the edge. Those rips make a good noise. That's what they heard. A powerful wind blowing. They listened and listened. It must be so windy outside, but this sounded... It sounded like it was inside and then they started to see something they started to see some fire in the air they felt quite scared fire in the air take your piece of paper and fold it in half like this have my folder and then i'm going to curl it round like this crunch up my top bits. This is going to be our fire. That fire they saw in the air, it split into lots and lots of different pieces. Those bits of fire came and they rested on people's heads. Put your fire on your head. Wow, the friends were scared, but the fire didn't hurt. It made them feel all warm and safe inside. It was a lovely feeling. And then something else strange started to happen. One by one, they started to speak. But they didn't speak their usual language. They were speaking all sorts of different languages. It was incredible. Peter knew what was happening. The Holy Spirit has come. The Holy Spirit has come inside all of us. That's the gift that God was promising. A bit of Jesus to live inside us and help us. While the friends knew what they had to do with their new languages. Your piece of paper, unfold this bit. And I'm going to roll it up again. There we go. So it's a bit like a megaphone. They went outside and they started talking. Hello, hello, they said. But they said it in so many different languages. The people were amazed. Every single person from all over the world could hear these people talking in their own language. They could understand. It was amazing. The friends started talking and talking and talking. They talked about Jesus, about who he was, about all the things he did when he was on earth and the fact that he died and was dead for three days and then came back alive again. They explained that that was because Jesus had come to take away all of the bad stuff that we've done. They explained that anybody 
could have eternal life, life forever with Jesus. If you believed in Jesus, you could go to heaven and be with God forever. They explained and explained in all of the different languages. It was an incredible day. And you know, loads of those people decided they wanted to be followers of Jesus. They wanted to give Jesus their heart and get the Holy Spirit living in them as well. There were so many that 3,000 people decided to follow Jesus that day. Isn't that amazing? All because of that special gift that God gave his followers. Take your piece of paper again. I'm going to fold these two corners in like this so it makes a sort of a sort of a V on the bottom, like that. And then I'm going to take a couple of these middle ones that I folded earlier. And I'm going to fold them down like this. There we go. And then if I turn it round, I have a heart shape. That's where the Holy Spirit lives, in our hearts. And do you know, the Holy Spirit, he wasn't just a special gift for that day. It's a special gift for us now. Anyone who follows Jesus has the Holy Spirit living in their hearts. A bit of Jesus living in your heart. How amazing is that? That's such exciting news, isn't it? And you know, the Holy Spirit can help us do all sorts of things. He helps us be good followers of Jesus. I think that's amazing. That's the end of our story for today. But you can join us on Saturday for some craft or on Sunday for Family Sunday. See you soon. Bye.